Hi, I'm Charlotte, founder of Green People. Green People have been offering natural and organic sun creams for over 20 years now. They were formulated in response to my daughter Sandra's sensitive skin. She suffered eczema as a child, reacted with an itchy and stinging heat rats, which is known as prickly heat. And that was no matter which high street lotion I tried. I soon realized that waterproof sun creams contained ingredients such as petroleum jelly, paraffin wax and silicones, which can clog pores and block the sweat glands. It is almost like wrapping the skin in cling film. It wasn't only the petrochemicals that caused her to skin to react, but certain chemicals in sun filters and synthetic fragrances triggered skin irritation. So what makes our sun creams different? Our sun creams are not waterproof, but water repellent and non-pore clogging. Instead of using pore clogging petrochemicals, we use organic plant oils, plant-based waxes and emollients to repel water. This allows the skin to breathe, making them perfect for sensitive skin and eczema prone skin. The sun filters we use are non-irritating and offer broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. We use aloe vera, organic aloe vera, and not water as a base in all our products apart from balms. Aloe vera is very rich in enzymes, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and essential amino acids. The aloe vera we use is a highly concentrated freeze-dried organic powder. Only the inner gel is used. As all other parts of the plant contain skin-irritating compounds such as aloin. Aloe vera is known for its soothing and healing properties. In combination with plant oils, aloe vera also keeps the skin hydrated. When you buy a sun cream, it will have the letter SPF on the front. But what does SPF stand for? SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor and measures the levels of protection against UVB rays. UVB light is the main cause of visible skin redness and the burning. So B for burning. There is a lot of confusion in relation to SPF and the level of protection it gives. So how much UVB light does different SPF levels filter out? An SPF 15 cream filters out 93% of the UVB rays and a sun cream with an SPF 30 filters out 97% of UB rays, but an SPF 50 only gives 1% more, 98%. A sun cream must also provide UVA protection. UVA rays penetrate skin more deeply than UVB and are the chief cause of wrinkles, sacking and other signs of aging. So remember A for aging. It is important to protect your skin from both UVA and UVB rays. Unprotected exposure to UVA and UVB damage the DNA in skin cells, which can lead to skin cancer. So, does applying half the recommended amount mean half the protection? No, according to a study published in the British Journal of Dermatology, this was only give the level of protection. There's a square root of the stated SPF. The higher the SPF, the faster the protection declines if you're under applying. Applying half the recommended amount of SPF 15 will give a protection of SPF 3.9. An SPF 30 will give the protection of 5.5. An SPF 50 will give a protection of 7.1. We often get asked how much sun lotion should I use? If you are sunbathing and your whole body is exposed to the sun, it is recommended to use 30 grams, which is about a shot glass full. This will cover an entire adult body. Another way of looking at it is by squeezing out a 50 pence sized amount for the face and neck, a 50 pence sized amount for each arm, two 50 pence sized amounts for each leg, and lastly two 50 pence sized amounts for both the front and the back of the body. If you do not apply these amounts, the product will offer less protection than is claimed on the packaging. This applies to all sun creams and lotions, not just green people's, as all sun care products are tested using the same application level. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, please call our friendly customer care team.